So guys, Tesla has been making some pretty big moves this year. It's not just about production capacity or gigafactory expansions anymore. What's really interesting is how Tesla has been using China to push forward major improvements in battery tech, range, and pricing. And now we're starting to see all that come together in a wave of new Model Y variants that beats out any other manufacturer. Earlier this year, Tesla made tremendous progress with its production facilities and partners which has allowed the company to roll out significant improvements in its battery technology. In late September, Tesla launched a new version of the Model 3 in China, which now stands as the company's longest range model to date. Alongside that, Tesla also introduced a Model Y variant in China featuring a single motor setup capable of 800 kilometers of range making it the longest range Model Y in Tesla's entire lineup. China's public vehicle catalog reveals several key details about this trim, a higher energy density LG battery, new 21 inch Helix 2.0 wheels, and a starting price of around 280,000 RMB, or around 39,500 USD. At this price point, it's not just only become one of the best selling Model Ys, but the best-selling vehicle overall, surpassing even the newly announced Model Y L with premium features and a six-seater layout. But all of this just doesn't end there. The company has been testing more configurations tailored for the Chinese and surrounding markets, launching yet another new trim exclusive to the regions, a brand new Model Y long-range rear-wheel drive priced at 288,500 yuan or about 40,000 USD has appeared in Tesla's design studio overnight. It currently sits as the second most affordable Model Y in China, positioned just above the rear wheel drive and below the all wheel drive trim. Now the real draw of this new version is its balance of price and range is rated at 821 kilometers or about 510 miles using a 78.4 kilowatt hour cathode battery instead of the earlier LG pack. And although less conservative using the CLTC standards, when converted over to the EPA measurements, that 821 kilometers equates to roughly 357 miles, still higher than the longest range of Model Y offered in the US. For now, it's unclear if Tesla plans to expand the premium rear wheel drive versions beyond China, but given the success of these variants and strong demand, there's a good chance we'll see similar trims make its way out of the country very soon. All right guys, so this is all too crazy. In a span of just three months, the Chinese market got three different versions of the Model Y. This is no stripped down version, standard model that we have here in the US. This is the full fledged version with all the premium setups. Now, what takes it up to even another level is that going from the LG pack, which just launched two months ago, to now a brand new cathode pack, we are only seeing a difference of $500, but we are getting a better battery, more range, overall, a different car, and at 357 EPA estimated miles, beating out even the long range all wheel drive that we have in the US here, it's now only 40 miles away from hitting that magical 400 mile range that we have all been asking for. Now, in other news, Tesla has officially just launched the AC external power adapter for the Model YL in China, unlocking the vehicle's vehicle to load capabilities. According to a notice sent out to owners just over this weekend, Tesla accounts linked to eligible Model YL vehicles can now log into their online store, add the adapter to the cart, and once ownership is verified, the system automatically adjusts the price to $0. Tesla will then ship the adapter directly to customers via courier. The adapter itself normally costs 599 RMB or about $84, but Tesla is offering it free of charge to early Model Y adopters who didn't receive one during delivery. The offer applies to only the first wave of Model Y deliveries and remains active and valid until February 28th of 2026. Tesla notes that any unclaimed adapters after this date will forfeit the offer, though the company reassures that restocks will happen before January 2026 if supply runs out. To activate a vehicle to load, vehicles must be updated to software version 2025.32.300, which enables external power options 
through the car's rear charge port. The adapter supports 220 volts at 10 amps and delivers up to 202 kilowatts of continuous power, enough to run small appliances, laptops, or lighting during outdoor trips or power outages. Unlike the Cybertruck's outlet adapter used in North America, which requires a mobile connector, this adapter connects directly into the charge port offering a cleaner plug and play experience. But then more importantly, and one that pertains to the rest of the world, the addition of vehicle to load for the Model Y L in China is just now beginning. Tesla confirms that the upcoming Model Y performance in the US will also include vehicle to load support with deliveries expected to begin in the coming weeks. So there we have it guys, Tesla's strategy in China is honestly quite different and it makes a lot of sense because there are a ton of EV competition in the market. I can tell you without a doubt that the Chinese people do not want any stripped down version of any car in the market. It's either they go for the best or none at all. But the real difference here is that it being rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, fast or slow, it doesn't really as much over there as it does over here. As long as the car looks similar to the premium product, the interior doesn't lack any of the features, that is the car that they want to go for. And especially at that substantially lower price, they are going to be seeing the biggest benefits. Honestly, at this point, the only thing that really matters is the price and the range. And that's exactly what Tesla is starting to do by launching many of these variants in this market to really test it out. To summarize everything, they are really using the Chinese market, the Chinese people to really see what customers really want. There's really no better place to test this in a place that has billions of people and billions of people who are actually interested in technology. If the market over there still decides to buy a Tesla, sees Tesla as more compelling over any other EV, even when there is so many different options and price points that really undercut what Tesla's cheapest model is even, that just goes to show that people really do care about the safety, the quality, everything that Tesla really provides. And once they get all the data, once all that is sorted out, they will slowly expand it to other markets. This is where we're going to see the premium rear wheel drive versions, the 357 mile range, hopefully to 400 mile in the very near future, expand to markets outside of the country. Everything just seems to be moving at neck breaking speed right now. And it's just so much happening leading into 2026. I can't wait to see all of this happening. Can't wait to test full self driving, see the new Roadster, Optimus and so much more. I of course will be keeping an eye out for everything that comes up and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already done so because I know a lot of you guys are watching and you are just missing that button. And while you're here, might as well just hit that like button, drop me a comment, head over to Twitter X and follow me over there at hey John E. You'll see things over there you wouldn't see over here. You can chat with me anytime. I'll respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.